show you sex and vicious, where people are being murdered and killed. Mm-hmm. Leave us alone, if anything. If you're not right. going to help us, don't right. be interfering with us. That's, 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 what <laughs> that's what it's about. That's what it's about. So you, we you're serving us no purpose exactly. by by trying exactly. to harm us as a caucus, as exactly. a black people, exactly. as as trying to get on balance like Bobby exactly. uh, wrongly exactly. um removed was removed and and Cyron mm-hmm. and other mm-hmm. people because of your own personal agenda, yep. which it. your own agenda is to hold that stage now for yourself and who you want in there. And that's what we need to that's what politics need to stop in Illinois. That's what we're trying to stop. We trying to stop, I mean, going back to hell Washington. Once you break the chain, once you break the chain of that, they didn't like that. Mm-hmm. See, people that that's bent, bent on that type of stuff don't want that change. Status quo. They don't want that yeah. change. They want to keep on going like it's going and figure that's fair. That, and then if we accept that as the norm, that means they can trick us in a lot of ways. Now, can we split those up? And uh, like I said, we just want to, if we can walk away with at least one person in agreement with us on this block, and keep keep in mind, this is the most powerful Democrat in the state of Illinois. We on the block. They got power. They can, if we work with them, they can help us to get somebody else in the seat. <laughs> same way he working to get us out of the seat over there, we can work to do the same thing. And, and so it's critical. If we can get somebody, name out this phone number off this block who's in agreement with us, we, we just... Uh, put a dent in the state of Illinois in terms of the power structure. We can hopefully work that dent and make it even bigger. Wow. <laughs> what you got, Liz? Well, I'm ready. Um, I'm I just up. wanted you to uh, uh, reiterate again um, what made the signatures. Um, um, what, invalidated? Yeah. yeah. It, all right, let's exactly. put this on camera. Here's the written Now, you, you started over, right, so it's not going five minutes. Well, wait a minute. No, it's not five minutes okay. yet. All right, here's why, we, and, and Bobby, come on, because Bobby ran as well. Um, Here's what happened, and this is the game that they play. For every one signature, they can file up to three or four different charges, meaning you got to defend whatever the charges are just to win that one signature. So they can say he's outside the district, he's not registered to vote, and he poured, we forged his signature. And we got to defend all three of them charges for one signature. And that's what happened. 1,180 signatures we turned in. They said we did not have 500 votes. It's totally unacceptable. They played this game and had you in court. We spent over 32 hours in court playing that game, taking 32 hours away from us being on the streets where they killed the 12-year-old girl, murdered her, where the, the senior citizen was shot in front of Liquor Stone 69th and Ashley. We could have been out there like we always are doing work, but instead we in court. What, what you, That's plain and simple. That's it. I mean, just stay in your district and let us have the laws. And, and if the people who are running against us can't hire the people to figure out what's going on, mm-hmm. then leave it alone. Don't you use your resources, it's powerful right. lawyers, and, and all of them coming down there, influence. Because it makes it, the skullduggery effect right. that you might, you know, police yeah, I need that you might uh, uh, be able to do down there, we don't know. Exactly. I, I don't know if it's underhand or not, because Mike Mannigan's people down there, you don't know who, who's playing with computers or whatever. Right. You just make it seem, you know, not like it's not fair. Right. And, and the reason, because some people say, why Mike Madigan? I know Mike, you said someone said that I withdrew and whatnot. Uh, when the deck is stacked against you as high as they had it, it leaves options when you withdraw. And so that's the reason why I withdrew, so that I have options to do other things. I'm still running as the right hand candidate. And we're going to go out there, and the, and the 1,200 people that, that signed my petition, we're going to ask them to get five family and friends. So that's 6,000 people that we think we'll be able to uh, win this election as a right man. And it's just that simple. You know? yeah, one more question, please. Yes, ma'am. Um, so what do we need to tell the voters about registration and signing petitions? What exactly uh, can we tell them so that this doesn't happen again? <laughs> so what do we but, but do? But in all due, all right, some of the neighbors who we went to, they mm-hmm. was in foreclosure. What am I going to tell them? Don't sign the petition even though you're in foreclosure. They still have a right to nominate who they want. Just because they're in a bad situation don't mean you're not relevant. And that's part of the game and that they the play. Change. That the people that's decide. That's the change we talking about. That's, that's the, the game change. we talking that's about change. You know, just we talk, because it's business. It's the same them. general business that's down there. Now we got one person in here. So that person going to make the rules to keep exactly. us off. Exactly. That's the okay. game. Okay. To keep us off. Yeah. So we got to change the way they balance yeah. the politics. So now, everybody comfortable though? Because I'm excited about talking to the mayor. This is right here today. Bad is there anything there. particular? <laughs> just be yourself. Just say, you know what? This is this is what happened. What do you think about it? Can yeah. we keep your ad- I, your name, number, and address, or what? What's the deal? I, I think we're so ready. We 